So I already kind of took this one down. So what I'm doing is I'm finding the braid. Let me find the braid. See, like some of them are just like sliding off. So it's a little easier. So some of them you can just like pull it down, find the braid, pull the braid out. That's all you gotta do. And then I'm taking, I'm finding the knot that's around that I tied. And I'm kind of just like, this is the thing, remember? And it's just kind of like coming out. See? Just came out. I'm gonna do a couple more and I'm gonna show y'all like a really, really good close up. Maybe on this one. What I'm doing is, I'm kind of like pushing the hair out of the way with the comb. And then I'm finding my braid. And then when I find my braid, I'm pulling it out. So right here is my braid. And I'm just pulling the braid out from out of the lock, just like this. And then I'm going back to the root of the braid and finding the knot. And just, it just comes out, <laughs> just like that. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe you guys can see it a little better. Let me find it. It's kind of hard to look in the viewfinder. So I'm kind of pushing the hair back that I wrapped around. And then I'm going to find the braid, finding the braid, taking my comb through it, that's the braid right there, and I'm just pulling it out of the knot, and then going back to the knot, and then taking the comb back through the knot. jump in and let you guys know that I don't know if I'm making sense but basically all you're going to do is be pulling down the wrapping hair that you wrapped around the lock, finding the braid, pulling it out and then taking the comb back through the knot of the crochet lock that we originally crocheted in and pulling it out and it's just going to slide out and I really hope that's making sense. I'm so sorry. I really wish that I had a better view, but I was really looking at my viewfinder on my camera the entire time. Yeah, I hope this is making sense. Um, but I'm just about to do like the front of my braids back over because everything else is holding up. Like the braids, I mean the locks are fine. I'm just gonna redo my front part and I may do some right here like redo the, the couple right here that I'm showing because for the most part let me move this out of the way because I look crazy for the most part I've only been wearing them like in this little style like part down the middle and just like pull back on both sides I've literally just been wearing them like that for the most part and I think Two of them came out in the back, but that was just from poor wrapping. Like when I was doing the back of my head, it's just not the same kind of grip like how you have on the front because you can see it. So two of them came out in the back and I never redid them. I don't think I'm gonna redo them just to be honest. I don't think I'm gonna redo them just to be honest because I'm about to actually do another lock tutorial because I found this hair on Amazon that I wanna do. And then I found this new wrapping hair. It's not new, but I just want to try it and see how it looks. This is going to be a style that I'm going to be recreating a lot because I I love like styles like this. So yeah, I'm just going to take down, continue taking down the front and I'll be back. And I'm going to show you guys how I have been, you know, maintaining them. I haven't really been doing a lot, honestly, but I'll show you guys what I've been doing. And my hair, it looks fine. It doesn't look like it's messed up or anything. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. 
staring at you on the jet plane. I ain't worried about nothing, cause you got me feeling like the Wayne Wade in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all that anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look, I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me. But I really wanna tell you that. Tell me what it ain't. Trigger happy, you looking by, I might just detonate. Yeah. Like, tell them dudes that can fall back. Kid in the kill, I need all that. Let them call, but don't. I also want to jump back in and let you guys know that the stuff that you see around the tip of the braid, like at the root, that is just build up from the um, shine and jam control. So you can just like take a towel and just clean that off, or you can just wash the front of your hair before you redo it. I redid my front. I decided not to redo the middle because I'm tired, okay? Um, I'm really enjoying my week off. So um, I redid the front, just like my front row. And I didn't even do that well of a job because of these nails. I cannot braid with nails on, period. So to maintain them, Honestly, the only thing I do is I put my scarf on. Hold on, let me find my little scrunchie. I ordered these a little satin bands, scrunchies, because it's like a scrunchie. I ordered these satin scrunchies from Amazon, like a whole pack. And then I have my, my jumbo bunny. I bought two of them and my satin scarf. And when I when I first did them, my scalp was itching so bad. Like it wasn't bad, but it was like it was itching. So I got this um this braid spray. So I spray some of this on my hair. It's like a BRX extension sheen spray. It soothes itching. So I was using this at first, and then just to add like some shine to my hair. I use this olive oil to add the shine to my hair. I just spray some of this on it all through it and it smells, oh my God, it smells so good. And sometimes I spray it on my locks, you know, get the, just to add some shine to them. And then when I go to sleep at night, I literally just bend over. Sometimes I'll leave it like in a bottom like this. Tie my edges. And then I will put this jumbo bonnet on. And this is how I sleep at night. And that's how I've been maintaining them. Like, of course, your hair is going to eventually, you know, grow out and you're going to get some new growth. So what I have come to the conclusion on is what I would do is I, I would push the hair that, that was previously wrapped around. I would push that down or like cut it off. Honestly, I would just go back in and rewrap again instead of taking the whole thing down. I really regret just doing what I just did because it was tiring. So if you want to just refresh your hair, just take the pre-wrapped hair that you already wrapped, take that off or cut it out, you know, remove your hair from it. And then just re, you know, edge, control it down and re-wrap it again with some more hair. Boom, there you go. You ain't got to take your braids out. So I realized that towards the end, but... I have another, like I said, I have another lock video coming up. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. I'm going to be taking these down after my boyfriend's birthday. Um, his birthday is tomorrow, actually. So um, I'm going to be taking these down and I'm going to be doing another lock tutorial. 
So if you guys want to see that, then just stay tuned. And I will see you guys in the next video.